and your reviewers, as you know, will be colleagues working in the same field, recently published editors, authors, or or selected by a peer review search engine within the editorial manager or scholar one system. And they will be asked by editors to critically comment on your manuscript from an academic perspective. But we always say to peer reviewers, don't talk about the language. If there's a language issue, send it back to us and we'll ask the authors to get the paper edited or read by a native speaker. But the number one comment that comes back from peer reviewers, the number one comment, even after we've told them, don't edit, don't work on the manuscript from a language perspective, it's the language. And for that reason, if you're listening to this from a country where English is not the native first language and you don't have necessarily perhaps access to first language speaking English colleagues, this is one reason why it's often very important to get your paper looked at by a native speaker before it goes into the peer review process. Companies like ours can help you with that as well. So not the language we say to peer reviewers, but this is the number one comment that always comes back from the system. And also keep in mind as well as an author that the comments you get to see from the journal, from the editor, in the peer review process are very often just half or less than half of the story. Most journals ask reviewers to provide confidential comments to the editorial office, to the editorial team that you would never get to see as a submitting author. So they very often make comments to the editor that you will never know about. And these comments are often the comments that are partly at least informing editor's decision. So if you know these things about the peer review process, you can manage that peer review process as an author much more effectively, much, much more effectively, actually. And also keep in mind as well, we do this ourselves when we get asked to peer review papers, when we get asked to comment on papers written by other colleagues, we make comments and we look and we think, where are the problems with this paper? Most people do it, it's human nature, go into this process commenting on the work of others with a negative mindset. And this is something that I'm gonna come back to and talk about a little bit more later. Peer reviewers tend to think, where are the problems? Where are the issues? And that's also well worth keeping in mind as an author because very often the problems with your paper will be in the method section. This is the number one area of the academic paper, the academic paper writing cycle where reviewers have issues. If you know that, you can bulletproof, you can waterproof your work, you can show it to colleagues, show it to your supervisor, show it to your mentors, get it checked before you submit. Have I put enough information in to the method section that a reviewer will be able to understand what I've done, will be able to repeat my work. And you do this by developing a mentorship network, reaching out to international colleagues and talking to them about your research and thinking who might be suitable in the future to act as a reviewer for one of my papers. Journals may ask you, editors may come back to you and ask you, suggest some people who may be appropriate to review my article, either in the submission system or in the cover letter. Very, 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 very important to keep in mind that in your covering letter, you can put some names, and contact information of reviewers who might be appropriate to give a favorable set of comments about your article. So senior colleagues, authors of other papers in your field, not colleagues, not students, not current collaborators, but talk to people, reach out, send your work to colleagues around the world, the title, the abstract, talk to them about what you're doing, because this is how, as a young researcher, you build that network, that mentorship network, as we call it, it will lead to success in the future, and it will help you with the peer review studies. When journals ask you, who are you gonna select as peer reviewers for your next paper? And interestingly enough, many journals, this is the online Scholar One submission system site from one of the journals that I work with, 
as a paleontologist, as the editor, many journals now do not let authors select reviewers in the submission process. They let you deselect reviewers who would not be appropriate, in your opinion, to review your work. And editors at publishing companies, at journals, they almost never use deselected reviewers. So if you really don't want somebody to look at your work, you have, a, you have to have a good reason, competing research group, somebody has given unfair or negative comments about your work in the past, perhaps, put them in here. The editor often is prohibited by the journal from using those choices. So here, again, you have some power, some ability as a submitting author to control the process. Most authors, the vast majority of academic authors, they write papers, they submit them into the peer review black box, and they don't know what's happening during this part of the process. They just wait for comments to come back from editors. You can actually manage this process yourself.